<laughs> okay, super happy. Um, this is um, a lake that we've been only once last year, and um, I actually don't know why we didn't stay, but uh, I didn't have the doctor shed a year ago, so. Um, and I just needed a place where um, I could like have my dog swim, so I guess this was the place. Um, but now we are with the duck in the morning. Um, we actually stayed here. It's a a bird refuge uh, between um, I think it's called uh, Calipatra uh, and Bra Brawley. And in the back, let me see where I see my segment. Oh, there. It's actually right here. Um, straight up. And there's the focus. Sorry, guys. So, up here, um, this is really just 40 miles actually. This is Mount Sigmund. And I'm actually trying to fix it up before I leave. It's a little bit. Mount Sigmund actually um, is sitting there on the border and one side is America and the other side is Mexico so that's kind of what I'm pointing out that we're looking at Mexico um, from here um, that, that Mount Sigmund is like um, the side of Mexico and so, uh, last year I um, Papa huh? last year um, we walked uh, a quarter mile to the mountain in the desert and it was so rough that um, I thought I wasn't going to make it actually. Um, and then to see these little child footsteps coming into the country. Um, and then the border was just like, you know, a bunch of like like a roadblock or something. So the dogs uh, walked through it, I walked through it, and then, um, yeah, it was just not really a border. It's just, um, it doesn't make it legal for anyone just to be on which side, you know? So uh, just because there's no physical bar barrier that holds someone out doesn't make really um, a case to like, oh, therefore, they're more welcome. No. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I hope I can actually um, go over there because um, it's actually a, an okay walk. It's just kind of I needed to be better prepared, and I cannot. But I cannot imagine having to do that for my children and with my children in the face of being hurt and um, separated. Um, at the last moment when you just reach the American dream, basically. Uh. Yeah, you like it, Eki. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a nice morning, actually. It's been, it was a little bit windy yesterday. Oh, Eki, you got a friend. Friend here coming. She's rather determined. It's, um, I believe, still before 7. Um, the big pelicans are always so amazing.
Yeah, you see the mountains are in the in the far. It's what is it? It's right there. That's Mexico. Um. This is huge. Um, so I believe it's Lake Finney. And it's actually just a little bit down the street of um, the Sonny Bono uh, Wildlife and the Red Mill Park that I uh, visited, I think, last week or a couple of days ago. And the dogs are really good because there's actually a cattle range next door, and um, but they're out there, so the dog knows that they, uh, you know that that's gonna be serious soon or quickly. They're not doing anything; they're just sort of getting excited, and then they're like, "Okay, well, that's it." But that can be perceived differently. Um, but he was calm enough about it. But if you see me run off in a minute, that might be the case that my dog changed his mind. Um, Hey, it's a little early to be that wild, okay? Over a straw. That, that, hey, there's plenty of hay here. Come on. <laughs> Hi, good skis. <coughs> You check out a palm tree? Yeah. You can check out. You can check out a key. I hope that molting, um, uh, her changing of her feathers is gone, done soon because I, I think she may lay eggs again. Um, because of the winter time, the season. Um, I think uh, her biological clock just gave her eight eggs. That would have been enough normally if they were infertilized. Um, to start a nest with her uh, molding uh, feathers. But because nature, you know, I didn't have a male nearby. Um, so just stopped laying eggs and molding. But um, it was a little less intense than I thought because um, the feathers come out of these little tubes out of the body. Like, it's kind of interesting. Um, if I ever can catch it, I'll show you. But, um, and then she kind of has to, like, uh, scratch those little tubes off. That are like kind of like not like nails, but a little bit like tougher than skin. That's actually the material that you see in the end of the feather. Um. Yucky! What you doing, Yucky? You can have a fun, go swim. Go swim a little more. You want to walk it? Oh, yeah, the pain. <laughs> this is so gorgeous, guys. Like, just to wake up this peaceful, um, it's real. It's a real blessing. I I just keep saying it because it's, um, you know, <coughs> it's just. Very different than waking up in a lot of noise and um, traffic and... No, Bobbert, 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 come, come. This is the wildlife, you're not gonna go to the farm. Come, good job. Yeah, yeah, be good boy. So here, this is the stairs and you see me not take the stairs because it actually hurts much more with my knees. Um, 
And so it's a little bit watery and stuff. It's, there was one warning that it was too wet in certain areas. Because um, I think you can go actually around the lake normally with the car. Um, and this is also an area where you want a welcome to like camp um, for free. Um, which we did, I guess. Um, it's just. Um, yeah, Yucky. Oh, Yucky. Yeah, this is nice. Hi, Yucky. Take him on walk. He's taking me morning walk. Oh, yeah. Uh, I see the mountain a little bit better now uh, from here. Um, if you see it, it, that's Mexico. One second, it has to sharpen a little bit. Huh, it might not be visible. Um, but it's like the one mountain in the backdrop of the other mountains, so that's Mount Sigmund. Mm. So Slab City is, you know, 40 miles off uh, the border of Mexico. And it's definitely an area where people actually can come through. Um, but there is border patrol now and then showing up in Slab City, so it's not necessarily um, a completely set way to get in. But if someone would want to, I think there are people willing to like um, extend their hand. It just doesn't happen too often because um, yeah, there, there is actually border patrol and stuff on the outlook. Um, it's just, you know, because most of the Slab City people aren't necessarily um, very diverse. Um, there's not a lot of, like, need to infiltrate a community where there are not a lot of foreigners um, or, or aliens. Um, um, there are other kinds of people. Oh, he gave it a fly. He flew, flew, flew. And he lost the fly. <laughs> He's so happy. You're calling. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Nicky. Come on, Nicky. Nicky, come. There's a car arriving, and again, we're in the middle of nowhere. Um, and so Eki kind of knows that there's often kind of a natural situation being created that I had hunger before. Um, and it's, I, it's innocent, but I've had only people show up all the time. Um, I'm just, the only reason is that the uh, camera is on and that they normally don't show up, so. Good job, Aki. It's okay, Aki. <laughs> yeah. It's okay, Pop. Oh, 
kuya. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think it's... Yeah, it's okay. We'll figure out. Uh -huh. Oh, Eki, look, look, look. Look at this, brother. Come on, Eki. Look at this. Look at this, other bug is here. Oh. We should be able to walk around. Let's walk around. There goes little guinea. There goes guinea. Hey, <coughs> hang on. There's not, there got to be a way in there. Hey, Papa, let's go to the puddle here. Uh, there are like different bodies of water that my dog needs to have access to. So, uh, a deep body of water that she can submerge herself in. And, um, so that she can like, you know, get herself clean. And then these devil areas where there are all these little buggies. Yeah, here. Look, look. Look, Eki. Here. Eki, look. And this again, the color, it has to do with, uh, the hot springs and the, the minerals, uh, deposited out of here. So, um. Uh, the one signifier I see keep coming back when there is like we're in the hot spring areas. So here's just a, a campfire site. Can you know this is great to actually really camp? Like um okay, someone is really one of the ducks is really calling. Here, so this is actually a day for her. Uh, because there are all these little buggies. Here, see you see you, brother. Come again, look, look at puddle. Come on. Okay, okay. Take the puddle. Yeah, there you go. Now go in the puddle. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, there you go. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, don't have me slipping. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Go <laughs> on. You try it. Oh no! Oh, and um, her legs, according to the literature and research, is that, that her legs don't necessarily respond to temperature differences like our skin. Um, but it definitely has a lot of feeling. <laughs> it's just not like unwarranted. Yay, guys! Okay, this is a little puddle for you. Yeah, look at the little buggies. Um, oh, there, I see some frost, I think, in the midst of uh, the white deposit. Oh, oh, uh, and let's start to thaw. I think it's time to kind of go because that's, it's changing the road real quickly. Um, hey, okay. Ah. It's very slippery. The, the moment it gets warmer, uh, we're sinking quite deeply into the uh, road right now. And this is a road, so it's not even a site. Oh, here, let, this is this is great. Eki, come. Oh, look at that. All the buggies. All the buggies. Um.
Hummus! Hummus!